Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and tonight we're gonna make a Thai beef salad. A beef salad, because it's more beef than salad, or it's gonna have a really beefy flavor. And Thai, because I'm gonna use a little bit of lemongrass. Uh, I'm gonna use one stalk, gonna whack off the ends, then I'm gonna cut away some of the outer part of the stalk. Basically, we're just using the core of it, because I'm gonna use it raw. It's the inside, you'll be able to press your thumbnail into the soft part of the lemongrass, and we're basically gonna mince it very fine and I'm gonna throw it into a bowl and mix it up as part of my salad dressing. I'm gonna throw some ginger in there too. You know, have, the, have that chopped up very well. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of chili paste. Just one spoonful, you know, for some heat and flavor. And then the juice of one lime. You know, because I'm, I'm a muscular fella, very powerful, I'm able to squeeze all the juice out of there. But if you're a, a frail, sickly fella, or a petite dainty lady you can use a juicing device you know add a little bit of salt or a lot of salt you know as you desire you know give it a little taste and if it's to your satisfaction we'll go ahead and set that aside and uh, go ahead and cook up our steak we'll get our oil heated up and then I'm going to use just under a pound of sirloin steak you know going to season it very well with a little bit of salt and pepper chili powder season it up however you like but definitely season it well because that's going to make this salad taste fantastico. You hear that sizzle? You want to make sure your pan is hot when you put your steak on there. And then we'll go ahead and let this here cook up for a minute, but not for too long. Did you hear what that bright young man cooking in his boxer shorts said? Don't let it cook for too long. Why be a barbarian and overcook your steak? Just boom, boom, you know, a couple minutes on each side. And notice I didn't cut into it with a knife or poke it with a fork because you don't want your juices running all over the place because you want your steak to be nice and juicy and moist when you slice it up. And you want to let it rest for about 15 minutes before you slice it. So while the steak's resting, we'll go ahead and we'll put our salad together. I'm just using a little bit of green leaf lettuce, but use whatever salad greens you like. You know, I'm going to use three green onions, you know, get those nice and chopped up. And then I'm going to throw some carrot strings in there as well. You know, I got some match, match sticks of cucumber. Then I'm gonna throw my dressing in there, get it tossed up. And then I'm gonna add some herbs or herbs, you know, depending on what kind of school you went to. You know, I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. But if you've got some basil, you can throw that in there, or a little bit of mint leaves. You know, any, any kind of fresh uh, herbs, you know, you like. Go ahead and get it mixed up. And now, your steak should have rested long enough. See, a lot of juice didn't come out of my steak there, just a wee little bit. So now when I slice it, because it's rested for so long, all of my juice shouldn't run everywhere, which you don't want, because you want your, your meat to be nice and flavorful and juicy, and you want to cut it pretty damn thin, you know, because this is a salad, you know, so you want it to have a kind of a salad they feel. And I know the meat's a little underdone, you know, for some folks, my mother wouldn't eat this, but my mother doesn't know anything about steak, you know? But try not overcooking your steak. And you might be surprised how damn good it is. We're gonna throw some uh, toasted sesame seeds on there for a little bit of uh, crunch and flavor. And there you have it, a Thai beef salad. Super duper flavorful, super easy to make. You know, if you don't have lemongrass, just use a little bit of garlic or a little extra ginger. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Bon appetit. And uh, thanks for watching.